Oh, and he's giving her a back massage too, you guys. That's so cute. Oh, ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right. That's a little much. <laughs> everyone and welcome to another episode of the sims 4 dynasty before we begin today's episode i just want to say that i'm so sorry that i have not been able to post videos as frequently recently i probably won't be able to post that many videos in the next one or two weeks as well just because as some of you guys may know i am in a show right now i'm in a play and we just started rehearsals and i just really really need to focus on learning my lines and it's a very challenging role too so i just need to figure out some things so i just haven't been able to record and edit videos as much, but I will definitely keep trying to as much as possible. Hopefully, once I get things sorted out, I'll be able to post again more frequently, but just wanted you guys to be aware. So, in the last episode of the Dynasty series, we had the Goldings throw a big charity gala, and it's their annual charity gala, and it's always a huge hit, but of course, a lot of drama happened at the gala. We had Harley. She's always been so jealous of Astrid, so she tried to manipulate her friends by convincing convincing Melody, one of Astrid's best friends, that Astrid and Melody's boyfriend were having a thing. So Melody walked in on them and it was just a really weird situation. So she just assumed the worst. So Astrid and Melody are not friends at the moment and Harley definitely got her way. And Astrid is just so, so angry at Harley. So that all happened in the last episode. We also found out that Demi, Alexis Ripley's stepmother is pregnant. So I think she may be having her baby in this episode as well. So yeah, so we'll get to see all that in this episode. If you're excited for this episode, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and play The Sims 4 Dynasty. Okay, so we are starting at the Golding household. Astrid is very, very tense. And I completely understand because after what was happening with her father getting married to her new stepmother, who she doesn't like, and then Harley ruining her relationship with her best friend Melody, it's just been like a really rough couple days or a couple weeks for her, really. So she is just super, super tense at the moment. Harley is feeling very, very happy. She has been getting what she wants. So she is still coming up with a plan to kind of be up in society and kind of get in with like the in rich crowd. So she's still trying to figure out plans. I feel like that's what she's doing right now is researching. It looks like she found something. She was just super happy about something. So she is definitely plotting some new things. So I don't know what else she could do, honestly, to Astrid. Astrid is complaining to her father right now. Her father is like, I'm so stressed. I can't take this right now. It looks like he might actually be feeling a little bit sick, but Astrid is just complaining about Harley and because like what else is she supposed to do and her dad is like it, her dad seems super understanding about it too. So I did realize that I forgot to introduce you guys to their butler. So this is Gerald Carter. So this is their butler. He has been their butler for many many years since their father was young. So he is kind of pretty important to the family. So they all like they all have pretty good relationships with him. The only people that he doesn't have a really good relationship with, with right now is Harley and Victoria just because they are very new, so they're just acquaintances. And I feel like he's still a little like standoffish, especially with like Harley. Like I feel like something, he feels like something's up with her and I feel like he's still trying to do a little bit of digging on Victoria too. But yeah, so this is our butler. He's not like officially part of the family, like in like, he's not added to our family, but he lives here. He's definitely part of the family because they just care about him so much and he cares about the family so much. And like he, he has just kind of sworn to protect the family and he does like everything for them too. So that is their butler. They call it, we just call him Carter. So guys, I didn't realize this, but Victoria can actually take a pregnancy test. So I guess her and Harrison have been trying for a baby since the wedding. And many of you guys did say that you want them to have a baby as well. So it looks like they have been trying and it looks like she can take a pregnancy test. So we will get to see if she is actually pregnant or not. Okay, so I'll be able to tell by like if she's celebrating or if she like nothing happens. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, guys, <gasps> Victoria's pregnant. Victoria is pregnant with Harrison's baby. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Victoria, she needs to tell Harrison. It looks like she's going to go share the big news with Harrison right now. So we'll see how he reacts to that because they are like, they're, they're older. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, Astrid is not going to take that well. She's not going to take that well at all. Okay. So Victoria is telling Harrison. <gasps> Guys, he, oh, okay. I was like, wait, he did not look happy about that, but then he, then he was happy. So I think he was just like in shock at first. And, and oh, it looks like he doesn't feel well though. So that might just be it. Or maybe he's stressed about having a baby too. Or maybe he's thinking about, 
oh my gosh, we have to tell Astrid about this and she's not going to like it. So I think we're going to see how Harley reacts to this. So I'm going to have Victoria go tell Harley that she's pregnant and then Astrid's going to find out about it soon too. Okay, so Victoria is telling Harley. Harley looks pretty happy. Oh, no, she's... She is, oh no, okay, she, oh, she had the same reaction as Harrison did. She was like in shock. She seems happy about it too though, you guys. And now she's taking a selfie and probably posting on Instagram. <gasps> yeah, maybe she's posting on Instagram that her mom's pregnant. And then what if Astrid sees, although I don't think Astrid would follow Harley on Instagram, honestly, I really don't think she would. Oh my gosh, guys, look who's here. Lance is here. Lance Alexander, who was the one that Astrid was flirting, or he was flirting with Astrid at the party. So maybe he like, came to check on her to see how she was after the party because she was complaining to him about everything and she, I feel like, had a little bit to drink. It was just kind of letting everything spill out and complaining to him. So it looks like she is going to go talk to him, though. I mean, it's like 3 a.m. and he's here. I think he was just trying to, like, sneak in to see her. So I, I don't know, guys. I feel like Astrid is kind of, like, really smitten with him and she usually does not fall for guys at all all. So I think she's going to try to sneak out and maybe ask him out. So they can't really go that many places because it is 3 a.m. So it's not like they would go to a restaurant. Although Ashton really doesn't seem like the type to be in a relationship. And I feel like she might have just told him that, which might be why their friendship went down a little bit. I think she's telling him that she doesn't want anything serious. Although he should not go inside. I feel like that's probably not something he wants to do. Okay, so Astrid and Lance are sitting on the bench in their garden. So Astrid, I think, was just kind of complaining to him about everything, but now it looks like she's kind of being a little bit more happy with him. He's blushing, you guys. He's blushing a lot. I think he really likes Astrid, and she seems, like, pretty okay with that. I mean, this is, like, the happiest I've actually seen her in a while, too, so I think she might actually be okay with this, although it looks like he's, like, checking his phone. He seems a little bit irritated, too, but I think things are working okay, and it looks like they are flirting a little bit as well. Okay, so they do seem to be getting along pretty well. He is so blushing. He's blushing so hard, and it looks like they are talking a lot, too. Oh, and she is feeling flirty you guys you can see she is feeling super super flirty so i think she might be really really into him it is 5 a.m i think he might have gone home which is totally understandable because he was here for a while and it was really really late so oh no actually i think he might be going inside he probably doesn't want to go inside we should probably stop him from doing that no nope, come back she's feeling so flirty though she just blew him a kiss and they're really cute yep he is also feeling very flirty okay so it looks like they are chatting outside the door oh my god guys it's Harley. <gasps> Harley sees him. Harley just saw him kiss. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. You know Harley is planning something. Look at that girl. She just looked so evil for a second. But Astrid and Lance just kissed you guys. Oh, and she's gone. She's She's probably scheming something. Honestly, she really, really is. <gasps> oh my God, that's so freaky. She was like staring at them outside the window. Oh, and he's giving her a back massage too, you guys. That's so cute. Oh, ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right. That's a little much. It, that's a little, he should, he should probably go home now. That, that was a lot. Okay, we're gonna ask him to leave. So Astrid does have to go to school pretty soon, but I think I'm going to have her travel to Alexis's house. So she's just going to stop by her house before she she goes to school. A lot of you guys did want to see Lyric, so I will show you guys Lyric. So that is Alexis's sister. Also, I do think that Demi is going to be having her baby soon, like probably within a few hours or so. So we'll get to see that as well. Okay, so Astrid is at the building that the Ripley's lived in. So she is going to ask to be buzzed in. They say, come on in. So we're going to have her go upstairs. So I think she's just going to tell Alexis basically like what happened and everything too. And also probably ask her if she has talked to Melody at all because I don't think Alexis and Melody are having issues. So Astrid is telling Alexis about what happened with Lance and she's like, oh my gosh, that's great. Because I definitely, I feel like Astrid, or I feel like Alexis saw Lance at the party, but I don't know if she actually talked to him. And then I want to show you guys, because you guys want to see Lyric. So here is Lyric. She might be leaving for school, but yeah, this is Alexis's sister, Lyric. So she's super sweet. Alexis and Lyric are super super close and they get along really well. Alexis is very, very protective of Lyric too. Basically, Lyric doesn't like Demi either. So neither of them do. So really they could gang 
hitting up on Demi as much as they want. I feel like Alexis might be a little bit of a, not Alexis. I feel like Lyric might be a little bit of a prankster. So she probably plays a lot of pranks on Demi too. Oh gosh, guys. Okay. Oh, so apparently Demi gave birth to a baby girl. I didn't even like, I thought I had to be playing from their point of view for her to have her baby and for us to be able to name it. So that's kind of cool that we can do that. I wonder if that's part of the MC command center, maybe? I'm not sure, but okay. So she had her baby girl, which probably is definitely not going to make Alexis happy. Although I feel like she thinks that her father has always wanted a boy. So maybe it's actually better that it's a girl and not a boy, because I feel like if it was a boy, then her father would like really favor the boy. So it's probably a good thing. Okay, so I think that they're going to name their baby Luna, because I always thought that was a really cool name and that I wouldn't really do that for the Royal Family series. So I like the Dynasty series because I kind of pick names for them that I wouldn't really use for our Royal Family series. So I think Luna is actually a really good name. It's actually a really like pretty name too. And like coming from Demi, like Demi being such like a gold digger and stuff, you wouldn't think that like their child would be so sweet, but I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll have to see. So that is their baby girl, Luna. So I am going to have Astrid go see her wherever. Oh no, it might be a floating baby to be honest, because I don't actually know where they have like a crib and I don't see a bassinet or anything. So I am searching right now for a floating baby. Okay guys, I actually can't find the baby anywhere. I don't know where the baby went. I don't see a baby anywhere in this apartment. And I actually don't even know where Demi went too. And I would think that maybe Talon would have gone to find the baby, but it doesn't look like he is. So I don't know where their baby is, guys, but I'm sure we will meet them eventually because, I mean, their baby is going to be around the same age that Harrison and Victoria's baby is going to be. I actually really, like, wasn't expecting to have that many babies in this series, but, I mean, we're already about to have two, so I guess it's fine. Okay, so I actually feel like Alexis might have found out about the pregnancy because of Harley's post on Instagram, so I feel like Alexis definitely has some sort of insider like someone's following Harley and she knows about it so I think Alexis is telling Astrid about it and Astrid looks pretty upset you guys she looks so angry right now especially because she's finding out about this from Alexis and not her dad first of all oh no she's oh she's very very irritated it looks like Alexis is trying to console her about it like she knows how angry she completely can relate to Astrid because her stepmother that she hates and her father just had a baby. And I'm sure Alexis and Lyric are not too happy about it. I'm sure they're not going to like the baby very much either. Uh, she completely understands how Astrid is feeling. But Astrid is so, so angry right now. So I think Astrid's actually going to head home and confront her dad about it. Okay guys, so Astrid is home and she is enraged right now. She just got home. Her parents or I mean her dad and Victoria are at work. So she can't really confront them right now but I think she's gonna take all of her anger out on Harley because Harley was the one who posted it I think she's gonna blame her and say that like she knew she would see it and like that was her way of trying to tell Astrid like she wanted Astrid to find out before her father got the chance to tell her about it because Astrid was out with Lance when her Victoria and her father found out about it so I think they were gonna try to find the right time to, to tell Astrid but didn't get the chance to yet and that's why Harley went ahead and posted that picture to announce it oh my gosh okay so Astrid is provoking Harley right now you guys Dang, she does not like her at all. I swear like all Astrid and Harley do is argue. Harley is like yelling back at her saying, you're just blaming me for this. She's literally taking a selfie as they're fighting. That has got to piss Astrid off. Oh my gosh, she must be so angry. Like she is like, whatever, fine, you win. Like she just walked away. She's so angry right now. Oh my gosh, Harley is just smiling. She's just smiling. She is living her life, guys. She's so happy. She is making Astrid's life so miserable and I am sure that Astrid is going to come up with a way to get back at her very soon because Astrid is very smart. She is very motivated. And I mean, she's got all the connections. She has all the money. She can figure out a way to get back at Harley for sure. Okay, so Victoria and her dad just got home. So I think she's going to just write as soon as they're getting home. She is going to yell at them, you guys. They are already out there. I think she knows that it's time for them to come home. I think she's gonna meet them out here and yell at them. So I think first, She's going to yell at her dad and then probably Victoria too. Oh my gosh, Lance is asking her to dinner though. <gasps> 
You guys! Oh, but she's angry. She is angry and he wants to take her out to dinner. She hasn't even confronted her dad and Victoria yet though. But maybe she wants to just escape from things and she's like super, super smitten with Lance. I think she might just say yes. I think she might just like wait until she cools off to talk to her dad and Victoria about it. Although that is very unlike um, Astrid, but I feel like him calling her is just like a complete, like literally he was, he called her and asked her out as soon as she was about to yell at her dad and Victoria. So I think she's gonna go, you guys. <gasps> I was not expecting that to happen, but I think she is going to go on the date with Lance. Oh my gosh, Astrid is still enraged, you guys. But look at this dress on her, it's beautiful. He took her, must have taken her to like a really nice restaurant. It is raining very hard though, but look at this. This is cool. This is a Newcrest restaurant. So it's it's new. <laughs> Newcrest, new, new restaurant. So it looks like there was this little romantic spot for them to eat out here. And I'm sure Lance wanted to take her there, but it's raining. So that's kind of a mood killer. So we're gonna have to find a different nice place for them to go because I mean, his parents, his family basically own this, this city. I mean, like they don't because like the Ripley's own it technically, but they put them in charge of it. So I feel like they're technically being asked to be like the mayor and everything like his father Lance's father I think he's gonna ask him to be the mayor so that's still like a process that's happening they're still trying to get people to move into the town and stuff too and I'm sure a bunch of people are trying to move in they're just trying to like pick the right people to move in and like accepting applications and stuff too for houses oh but it looks like this is Lance's sister so Astrid should probably meet her because although she looks a little mean though guys I mean that yeah that that girl does not look very friendly but this is Lance's sister Roxy so so, I don't know. Is Astrid going to try to meet her? Lance isn't like, like this is an awkward place for her to meet her, especially because this is like their first date. Oh, the Krishnas are here too, you guys. And their son has a big crush on Astrid. I feel like they're probably gonna end up telling their son that they saw Astrid at this restaurant. And I'm sure their son is going to to have something to say about it. But I'm trying to find a nice table for them to sit at. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit secluded, but we could probably pick like an upstairs table, but they definitely don't want to go outside because it's raining really hard. Okay, so I found this little table for him. It is indoors and it is very secluded. So I think this is actually a really good spot for him. He dressed up all fancy too. He's in his tux. This is a super fancy restaurant, you guys. So they're going to order the table and I think we're going to get some super, super fancy meal. So let's see. Let's get some. They're teenagers though. So I mean, like they really can't get wine tech. Although, hmm, I mean, their families are like some of the most powerful in the area. I feel like they have permission to, but uh, let's, let's just do a sea splash. I feel like this could be non-alcoholic. So we'll just do that. And then we are going to, let's see. Ooh, the glacier infused iceberg lettuce. That looks interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. A mud carp? That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. Beware, eating low quality puffer fish is eating bad mood or eating it in a bad mood may cause a slight case of death. Oh my gosh. Oh, there is lobster here. Okay, well, I'm gonna do that for her then. She, she, she eats lobster for sure. That's totally something she would eat. Okay, so they are on their date. This is like an official date for Astrid, you guys. This is really like her first like public, I guess, relationship. One, because she's never felt like she has found a guy that's like a match for her. And it, obviously I feel like that's very hard to find for her just because she's so ambitious and stuff. But I feel like Lance has his own ambitions too. I feel like he also wants to take over the family business. And I mean, she doesn't really know that much about him, but there's something really mysterious about him. So I think she's very, very drawn to that too. She seems really, really into it guys. And he's blushing so hard. Like I think he is really, really into her. So I don't know guys, I don't, I definitely think like, She's told him that she does not want to be in a serious relationship right now. I don't know. I, I think she's just holding off just because she wants to focus on other things and she's got a lot going on too. But she's feeling very flirty, guys. Like she was so, so angry before and she's not anymore. So that's good. So he can obviously make her stop thinking about these things going on with her family and everything too. Although like Harley saw them together and I wonder if she would kind of tell Harrison about it maybe. And maybe Harrison might be a little bit overprotective. Like he wants to find out everything there is to know about the Alexanders. Cause he's met them before and the Ripley's know him, Talon knows their, their family. And I know that Harrison is friends with Talon too, or they're at least like they're, they're in business together. So they're friendly. So I think that he kind of trusts Talon, but I think he still, since his, it's his daughter dating him, I feel like he wants to know everything about their family. So I think they're gonna do a lot of digging and wonder why they just like 
all drop everything to like live in this new world too. So I think he's just very suspicious of that. And I'm sure that's what Harley wants. Like she does not want Astrid to be happy at all. I'm just curious who else is here. <gasps> Guys, Melody's here. <gasps> Wait, oh no. <gasps> oh you guys oh my gosh melody is here i wonder if she's here with her boyfriend julian they don't see him anywhere oh my god and then who is this oh yeah that's the krishnas they totally saw astrid here too so i feel like they're gonna tell their son about it too and maybe they see melody and maybe they're like oh melody like we saw astrid are you here with astrid I feel like Melody's like, what? Like Astrid's here? Oh, yep, guys. Melody is up here. She is at their table. Oh my gosh. It's just kind of in their personal space. I feel like Astrid is going to be like, go. Yeah, she's going to say like, go away. Like, what are you doing here? Like, get, just get away from us. Why is she here? She's like, I feel like she's going to be like, look, if you're not going to apologize to me, I think she's gonna go brush her off too. I know she just walked away, but I feel like Astrid's like, you ruined, like you're ruining my date. Like I was just happy forgetting about things and you're ruining things. Their relationship has gone down so, so much. It would take a lot to get them back into a friendly relationship. Oh my gosh, I don't know why she's here. Astrid could apologize. She really could apologize if she wanted to. I don't know, I feel like Astrid's way too proud to apologize to Melody though, honestly. Are they arguing right now or are they having a friendly relationship? Oh, they're having a friendly comfort. Whoa, wait. Oh, no, I lied, Never mind. they're arguing. Arguing. Yep, yep, yep. Astrid's yelling at Melody. Melody's not happy about this. Melody's always so sweet too. Like this is weird seeing her like this. This just never happens. She's like giving her the stank eye. Like, oh gosh, <gasps> Astrid is in her face, you guys. Oh my gosh, Astrid was in her face. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, she, well, now, now they're smiling. There's a lot of like smirking going on here. Melody does not look too happy. She, I feel like she's also though, like Astrid's on a date that never happens. Oh no, Melody's going to go talk to her again. <laughs> What? Melody, just leave them alone. Like, why? Why? You guys, they are arguing with each other and Lance is sitting on the other side of Melody. Melody should probably just leave them alone. To be honest, they're on their date. Why can't she just let them be? I think she's just so angry about what happened and Astrid is not helping at all. Astrid, just... I think Astrid should just apologize to her. This is very, very irritating. Melody's angry now. Melody's very irritated. She never looks like that. She always looks so sweet. Melody's so angry i think she's just like really wants an apology from astrid guys it's 4 a.m i think she's had enough i think astrid needs to go home oh wow way to way to ruin a date honestly though that that was not not good at all so it looks like this date went pretty well though and then i'm trying to see how much time before oh victoria needs to go to the bathroom um so victoria is in her second trimester so her third trimester is going to be in about 24 hours. So she still has a few days before she has her baby. We do know that Alexis is not happy about her father having a baby at all. So we will definitely have to take a look at them too. And then of course, Harley is just like plotting everything. I, I think we need to go switch to switch to the family because I'm sure that Harrison is not too happy about this. And Astrid still needs to talk to him about the fact that they're having a baby and she found out through Harley's Instagram or not even through Harley's Instagram. She found out from Alexis who found out through Harley's Instagram. Oh my gosh, guys, wait, there's a fire. <gasps> oh no, where's the fire? Um, guys, there's a fire in their house. Where's the fire? Fire is started on your lot. Was that on Astrid's lot or is that here? Because no one's freaking out about a fire. Oh my gosh, that's a close one, honestly. Oh, we don't want a fire. We definitely don't want a fire. Wait, is, is it Astrid that's, um, no, no, Astrid doesn't have anything about a fire. Oh my gosh, one of her, her moodlets is hot dinner date. She just had a hot dinner date. <laughs> so she's super happy about that. Okay, I don't see any fire on this lot. So I think we're okay with that that. So that's a good thing because I was actually really worried about us having a fire because if you guys have seen Dynasty, there is a fire that happens. It's one of the worst things ever. So we definitely don't want that. So I'm gonna have Astrid come back home. She's just, she's just having a bad day, guys. She's already feeling embarrassed. Okay, now Astrid is just very tense. She's feeling very tense. She's about to go in the sauna. She's actually still in her dress, but she'll probably change out of that because I don't think she needs to be in her dress. Otherwise, she's going to get a lot of questions about where she was. So we don't want her to do that. So I'm gonna have her change into her robe. And then her dad is also feeling very tense and it looks like he's making himself a drink. So yeah, he's, he's feeling very tense and I feel like it's because he knows 
about Astrid's new boyfriend. It's not even really her boyfriend yet, but he doesn't know. know anything about it. So, you know what? I think he's actually going to like ask her about it. And I think, but it's funny because he's confronting her about her new boyfriend and she's about to confront him about their baby. Okay, so Astrid looks like she's yelling at Harrison first. Like, why didn't you tell me that you and Victoria were having a baby? Why did I have to find out about it later? And of course, Victoria is like swerving by like, oh, that doesn't sound good. I don't want to be a part of that and like runs away. And then her dad, Harrison, is like, uh, no, what, who is this new guy that you're seeing, seeing? I feel like Astrid's like, that's not what we're talking about. But Harrison's like, um, we were just talking about that. And now he's trying to play it cool. Like, okay, well, maybe you should tell me about him. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you about us having a baby. I was waiting for the right time. Astrid is not handling this well, you guys. She's not happy at all. She's not, oh my God. And Harrison is still like kind of sick, but it didn't say he was sick before. So I don't know what's going on with him. I hope he's not like sick, sick. I hope nothing bad happens to him. That wouldn't be good. Oh gosh, guys. Okay, so Astrid is still very, very tense. It looks like, whoa, wait, it looks like she was tense about a fire, but I don't think anyone else is. So there must've, oh no, there wasn't, there was, there must've been a fire on the lot that we just didn't see. It looks like Carter, the butler, had taken care of it, like, right away or something, because I don't see it anymore. Astrid actually really needs to do her homework. I don't, yeah, I don't think she's gonna be able to, because she's so stressed right now. And Alistair, Alistair's doing his homework, so he's being good. Alistair has all these pictures of his mother, too, you guys. So, oh my gosh, and they're, like, masterpieces, too. But, yeah, he's got all these pictures of his mother, and I feel like he's still hanging on to them. So, that's that's really sweet. He was really, really close with his mother. And she, I feel like, was the only one that really understood him. So, he's just... He's not happy about it, and he's never really been that close with his dad, unlike Astrid, so it, it's just interesting. Astrid's trying to, like, de-stress by playing some video games, but she's gonna have to go to work soon. Harley is just always happy, you guys. She's always happy because she knows that Astrid is miserable right now. And then Victoria is just very happy that she's pregnant, you guys. I mean, she is in her second trimester. She'll be in her third trimester in 17 hours, so they're gonna be having their baby pretty soon, too. So, guys, I think I'm actually going to end this episode here i hope you guys enjoyed it and then you guys can suggest some baby names too for victoria and harrison i know these episodes are probably a lot shorter and that is because i do just have a lot going on and it's just easier for me to edit shorter videos but i'll probably make them a little bit longer in the future too but i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you think about astrid and melody and their relationship and if you think they should make up let me know what you think about lance because there is something like weirdly mysterious about him and we don't know what that is so let me know what you guys think of him as well but in the next episode harrison and Victoria will have their baby. Astrid is not going to take it well. We'll see how Alistair takes it too, but we'll kind of see what's going on with them. So yeah, so don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!